Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my channel today. Today's video, uh, news all about Norwegian cruise lines, news from Royal Caribbean, news from Jamaica, and a stock market update for you on how the cruise line stocks are doing today. We've got volatility. Thank you everyone for subscribing to Traveling with Bruce. I really appreciate you following me. Thank you for giving my videos thumbs ups. Thank you for sending me comments, telling me what you are hearing about what's going on out there, sending me questions about uh, what, what you think I should, uh, what you should do or not do or what, what you, you know, what's going on with different cruise lines. I appreciate all of that. Thank you for following me on Facebook and on Instagram. And thanks to all of you who are visiting my red bubble store, the link down below in the description. Some of you are picking up TWB merchandise. Uh, thank you guys for buying t-shirts, COVID face masks, coffee mugs, and everything else. I love you. This is great. All right. <clears throat> Today's news for June the 10th, 2020. Here we go. Stock market update on what's happening with the cruise stocks. First of all, Royal Caribbean. The shares were at $75 a share a couple of days ago after having bottomed out in the $20 range a couple of months ago. But since uh, then, things have changed. Uh, right now, as of the mid-market uh, update, the stock was down $5 a share. Uh, it was at 70 last night. It opened at 67.84 this morning, and it went down to $60.82 at one point today, but it's now back to 65, still down about $5 a share today. And that's $10 lower than the high from a couple of days ago. Carnival down a buck and a half today. It was at $23 yesterday evening. Um, it was as low today as $19.50. It's back to $21.50 now, down a buck and a half. That stock was as high as about $26.27. Norwegian is down $260 today. Um, it closed to $24 last night, got down to $19.40 today, and it's now trading at $21.50 at the moment. And that stock is also off about six or so dollars from its recent high. So a lot of volatility in the cruise stocks. Now, Norwegian Cruise Line, let's talk about these guys. Norwegian came out today with a couple of pieces of news. The first piece of news was that the Norwegian Jewel is going to be um, canceling. They're going to cancel all sailings for the Norwegian Jewel from September 25 of this year to February 27 of next year. Now, as I'm talking to you today here in June, uh, it's not sailing either. I mean, the sail ship hasn't been sailing basically since March. The Jewel now will be down until next year, February. And uh, it was supposed to be sailing in the Australia, New Zealand area. That's where it was supposed to be, which was the summer season for Australia, New Zealand. But Australia has said uh, we are not going to have any cruise ships come into our country until at least the 27th of September of this year. And that is subject to revision. And I think NCL is reading between the lines that without a vaccine that New Zealand and Australia are going to be off limits and they might as well pull out now. <clears throat> Talk to these people who have reserved these cruises and try to get them to reserve into something else um, and maybe the ship will be repositioned over to the Caribbean or, or who knows where. We'll keep you updated on the jewel. Now, other news from Norwegian. They made a deal with the Italian government to defer payments for a total of $156 million on a bunch of ships. Four ships from Seven Seas, the Seven Seas Explorer, the Splendor, the Riviera, and the Marina. Those four ships with Seven Seas, that's all. those are all with a six-star cruise line. And then the brand new Leonardo class, ship number one and ship number two. It looks like Norwegian was going to be running into um, financial commitments for those new Leonardo class ships. And the Italian government with the shipbuilder there have come up with a deal to, in effect, not have Norwegian pay $156 million over the next year towards all of those ships and the two on the, uh, in the shipyard coming out. So interesting news there. Now we have some news from Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean made an announcement today that the Quantum of the Seas is going to be uh, pulled out of the China-Singapore area and it's going to go to Australia in 2021. This is down the line. Uh, in the last year and a half or so, the ship was in Shanghai, China, was doing China sailings uh, to Japan and, and Taiwan, other areas. Then the ship uh, repositioned over towards uh, Singapore for a bit of the year, and um, uh, then the virus hit, and uh, the ship now 
Uh, it's been decided they're going to completely leave the China market behind. They're going to leave Singapore behind, and they're going to split the uh, ship's uh, uh, time between Alaska in 2021, so that's next year, April, until probably September, October, and then over to Australia from like October 2021 going forward through the uh, through the uh, summertime in Australia. So that is what's happening with the quantum of the seas. She will join the ovation of the seas in Australia. Now in Jamaica, news came out that uh, Jamaica has announced that they are intending to open the country to international travelers for June the 15th, which is in effect in five days. Um, I don't know how they're going to pull this off because uh, they are still having all kinds of logistical problems bringing back their own nationals who, that are crew members on cruise ships. They're, they're, they have got, uh, in, there's instance after instance where cruise ships with loaded with Jamaican nationals are having trouble getting permission to even come into their own country and then to process these people to get them on shore because the Jamaican authorities are worried about the virus and they want to do testing and then they want, co- they want uh, quarantining and uh, they're, they're handling like 200 people every couple of days and some of these ships have 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 people on them. Um, I don't know how Jamaica thinks they're going to go right into the uh, tourist business on June 15th when they can't even handle their own nationals coming in by boat. So, um, folks, uh, this might be more for uh, window dressing than anything else. 180 miles to the west of Jamaica is the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands are shut down until September the 1st, and they're strongly making that uh, an extent, extending that thinking of extending it to January 1 of 2021. I don't know how Jamaica thinks being 180 miles away that that, that they're going to be allowed to, uh, going to be able to attract uh, travelers into their country. They are not prepared and are not able to handle an outbreak of a serious nature of this virus. And right now this virus is rearing its ugly head in a whole bunch of jurisdictions. And uh, uh, this might be a political announcement more for a show and tell than reality, but I... (laughs) I'll tell you, I don't see a cruise ship going to Jamaica at all for the balance of this year. I, I, I personally would not book a cruise that had a stop in Jamaica. Not, not a chance. I'd rather, I'd rather take a. Ch- if I took a chance, I'd go to the Cayman Islands. But I know I can't until probably 2021. But Jamaica, you got to be kidding me. Anyway, that's just my opinion. There you have it, folks. You've been updated by Bruce here at Traveling with Bruce. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the thumbs ups. Thank you for your comments. News on Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, Jamaica, and a stock market update for you. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, stay warm, stay cool, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.